They put a mechanic in the game like my boy Coyote uh, has been asking for all these years, a shooting slump. You take two or three bad shots, really bad shots, now you're in a shooting slump. You got to get yourself out of the slump. If you are in a shooting slump and you're playing a real basketball game and we got all this basketball like you, what do we normally do? The coach will call you a backdoor or a really easy play. Get him a layup. Let him see the ball go in the rim. Once he does that, then he'll be back switched on and we can get that. Good morning out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. Full transparency. We starting off the video the same way that we start off every video showing y'all what do we do last year. What you guys did, because I didn't do anything, but you guys make all this possible. 700 likes got us 10,000 views, and we got 136 comments, man. You guys are the absolute best. The views are up everything is up like i said man we got it's very important that we get those two th uh, 200 likes in the first 1000 uh, 1500 views and that's what helps get the video out of there but thank you guys for that keep doing what you're doing keep crushing it man starting this video off the same way we start off every video with the noted game wall of fame man check it out day day says first and we're gonna go through some comments here man check it out hey my guy says i can now I can say uh, I can say 2K is now fun again on both sides of the ball. And then we're going to go with uh, with a couple more deals, man. This is what people say. No, nah, you're right. I hate when people just play to break the game. It's toxic and not realistic. Uh, my other guy, he says, hey, listen, man, every year people complain uh, about the, but the fact that they can't cheese uh, in the game no more until it forces the devs to change something and and don't um, and don't get bashed, man. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, screw that like everybody else, whatever, whatever. More or less what he's saying is if, if something's not actually broken, then then we need to stop worrying about that. Just do like me and Brute, just play the game. Last but not least, Thompson says, it's the glitchy people that make the game bad because uh, glitch is not IQ. I repeat, glitch is not IQ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I appreciate y'all with your comments, uh, with your with your with your comments, your uh, content, all that stuff, man. Let me put myself right here. And with all that out of the way, I just want to say, yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video, man. I cannot do this without you guys, man. I really, really appreciate y'all. Y'all are the real MVPs. And hey, if, you, if you're if interested in shirts and stuff like that, the sleepy, we're going to make a sleep eat to eat sleep 2k repeat and all of that stuff man but you can do custom shirts get your tees in the breeze when you're rocking with breeze tees check out the site link is down in the description but hey fresh off the uh fresh off the thing man we got 2k dropped the patch notes yesterday we had already dropped our video we knew that the walk back and the cross lunches were taken out but he just said today's patch today's patch update uh for nba 2k this is what it did various fixes which was the cross lunches and stuff like that increase the uh increased the attribute boost unlocked at veteran veteran three and uh at top 10 uh top 10 uh rep levels and so that just means that when we get there when you get to those rep levels you'll be getting more attribute boost uh because hey you're gonna work harder and uh that's how it's gonna go hey poor boy says said can someone explain explain how top 10 works more or less and shake said um this is what he got from the report he just says hey uh top 10 is the new legend grind you reach the top 10 uh you reach the top 10 but you have to maintain a spot amongst them and then uh you get you get special rewards but you'll lose them if someone knocks you out of your spot and so uh poor boy sin says i mean in terms of gaining the spot in the top 10 because it's not solely based off uh, uh solely based off what has uh, who has the most rep from what i got yes it is it's just rep goes on uh, rep grind is going to be a grind all year and whoever has the most rep is going to have certain spots which means a lot of people think they say well i'm just going to take my time to hit top 10 no you're not going to hit top 10 you won't have a spot amongst the top 10 you know how some people we be like i'm gonna get to my legend grind i'll get there in april or something like that so i get the legend in april no you'll be veteran three and you'll have veteran three completed or what have you you will not be hitting top 10. Top 10 is reserved for the people, the 10 people in each affiliation with the highest rep from what we understand. So you're not gonna hit top 10 and, and get anything 
uh, any of those. You, you just not, it's just not going to happen. You're not going to get any of those rewards. It's, it's, it's just not about to happen. So, um, yeah, unless you're one of the first people to get there, you won't do it. Now, poor boy Sin always grind a legend every year, and he's always first, second, or third legend. So, yes, he will be there. But it's just going to be people jockeying for position based on how much rep they have. Up next, man, we got that boy Nate Exit, man. He said, he said he played against some DF Clan members last night and lost. And then he lost it. Not only did he lose the game, but also lost his absolute mind. I don't know, man. Like I said, this is crazy, but this is cool, though, because it's like people have been waiting with this crossplay and stuff like that. People have been waiting for years for stuff like this. You never would have been able to see Nate play D, uh, DF or anything like that because DF is normally on Xbox and all of that. But hey, you are now getting to see that, man. My boy, I part King Carter. He came through and he just said, hey, it's shooting bad in 2K24. I say no. Uh, a lot of people say yes. We almost split down the middle in the community, 70, uh, 7,200 people. Uh, so that's a good sample size right there, man. The biggest thing with the whole thing is that people don't understand how shooting works. And uh, a lot of people don't 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 understand what the shooting slump does if you make bad shots you take bad shots we're gonna we're gonna explain it in a second but if you take bad shots man uh you're gonna get into a shooting slump you're gonna feel like you can't hit anything but check it out hey um leaks and intel says don't let those uh twitter picks or twitter joints bring you down most people can't shoot uh it's not just you and what he's talking about is you got people like for uh Versetti, and you know this is gonna get passed. This is an all 2K21 though. You could do this when you didn't have take anything like that. They had more buckets doing stuff like this, man. Like hitting from behind half court is insane. Ain't no, you know they're not gonna leave that like that all year. Look, this dude takes the shot. He's cold. Obviously, he's not gonna hit it. But look at what Versetti does right here. So, so he's gonna take the shot. He's just dancing. He gets the ball, and then he's just gonna dribble up, and then he just pulls it, and it goes in like he hit that. You, we, we know that that's something that's absolutely not going to remain in the game, bro. But it is, it does. It's cool to see those stuff like that, man. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Also, you got, uh, you know, they, they say, uh, Kai couldn't, what, Fanta can't miss. They just shooting everything like that. <laughs> Pull up. Drake, these are regular shots, though. I ain't got no problem with these like this. That, that's, that, that's, that's no, I, I got literally no issue with these. Like, of course he can't miss. He's he shooting regular shots. Now, that's a big one right there. I ain't gonna cap, my boy. Hey. It is what it is. You lose to something like that, man. Somebody that's actually out there cooking and hitting. Um, you know, it is what it is. So Malik says, I knew I wasn't tripping. Once you miss two shots, it's three shots. It's literally impossible to green. Like whose idea is this? This is the thing that this is the thing that uh bothers me the most about the 2K community. We say we got so much IQ. We tout IQ. I got the IQ. I can do this. I can do that. I'm, I'm smarter than an average bear, if you will, or what have you. But we can't navigate ourselves through a little shooting slump. They put a mechanic in the game like my boy Coyote uh, has been asking for all these years, a shooting slump. You take two or three bad shots, really bad shots, now you're in a shooting slump. You got to get yourself out of the slump. If you are in a shooting slump and you're playing a real basketball game and we got all this basketball IQ, what do we normally do? The coach will call you a backdoor or a really easy play, get him a layup, let him see the ball go in the rim. Once he does that, then he'll be back switched on and we can get that. You have to do the same exact thing with the shooting slump. You go into a shooting slump, you don't shoot your way out of a shooting slump by shooting threes. You gotta get a midi or you're gonna have to go get yourself a layup or you're gonna have to get something closer to the rim that's a high percentage shot. Get yourself a dunk or a high percentage shot and you'll be just fine. But like I said, I, I'm not surprised that we can't figure this out in the 2K community because we don't have uh, IQ. Uh, my boy Stax, he says, hey man, Park is incredibly slow or delayed, whichever one, uh, something needs to be done. I have not experienced that, but I have experienced some, sometimes, um, uh, what one dude says, dude, does it chop like crazy? The twos courts, uh, and the, and the hover, he says, uh, I play at rise, but yeah, the park is getting crazy. Top. Yeah. You'll get chops. I think that that's, that is, that is, uh, the chopping, the choppiness. I think it comes from the shadows. They'll be able to fix that pretty soon, man. I tell you, I'm gonna hit Mike up about it and, and just let him know. Hey, Quavo says, hey, people that were trash last year, they are good this year. Y'all better get right. And you right about that, man. It is what it is. Hey, this is what Splashy says, shooting slump to your fly player if you miss your third shot. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Like I'm telling you, me and T switched on all day, shooting, shooting, shooting. And then, like I said, I finally figured it out. Last night, I was playing with Brute. And um, I was playing with Brute. 
and uh, that's what happened. I went into a shooting slump, got me a midi, and I was good to go. Breaker actually talks about the shooting slump. He says, I put the bar on to see what if I was doing, uh, with, if I was just doing terrible timings. He, he speaks French, so that's what it is. Uh, he said, if I was doing terrible timings, and then I saw that. Uh, more or less, he said, I got a 92 three ball on the bill. I got all my hot zones. I got blinders uh, on gold, Asian threes on silver, dead eye and all of that. And it's just full bars. And you see him right here. He's taking full bars. All these shots are contested too, though. So I don't know if these are the best example of it, but he's saying, you know, he's in a shooting slump and, and, and it says bad shot selection. So like, like, I, I, I don't know what I don't know what they want me to tell you on that one, man. It, like if it says bad, if it says bad shot selection, or something like that. I don't think, um, I don't think that they're, and, and you know, it says bad shot selection and shooting slump. I don't think the best way to get yourself out of a shooting slump is to take bad shots, but I digress. It is what it is. Hey, uh, it, uh, so JA says, he says, Baloo, but there isn't a, there isn't really a pure green window in the game uh, right now because of the shooting slump issue. It's not an issue, it's a mechanic, it's a feature. They put it in the game, they wanted it like this. And he says, basically, if you get into a shooting slump, it's impossible to hit a shot after that. Hope this gets fixed. I hope it doesn't get fixed because there's nothing wrong with it. You should, like all of us have played this guy, uh, somebody in the park, and we forced him to take two or three bad shots, and he's still ISO him. I'm not ISO him. He's still uh, going behind the screen, running around behind the screen, and then he's he's gonna hit his next five shots. It's it's insane. Like like he's taking bad shots and and bad shot selection the entire time. And uh, you know, it is what it is, but, and then we gonna bail him out by letting him hit just because he got the, it doesn't really work like that, but I get what you're saying, but hey, it is what it is. I don't think it's an issue. I think this, we just need to play smarter and use some of all that IQ that we said we got. Um, let me see, and this is the power of a, of a, of a 99 three ball right here from J.A., man. Look at this right here, he pulling up, pull up, drink. Now, like I said, hey, if they don't wanna fix that, that's fine. Y'all wanna say, you know, cause of the shooting slump, it is what it is. Uh, but one of them is a mechanic. I think one of them just got left in the game uh, by mistake it, and it's all good. Chrissy T says, these shooting slumps hit harder than Mike Tyson in his prime. I'm telling you, man, the shooting slumps hit hard, but it's not hard to get out. All you gotta do is go take a layup, bro. I don't get what it is, but the our community, we don't wanna take no layups. Brute has said he has never seen shooting slump. Why? Cause he gets on that rim. Oh, rim, rim, oh, rim, rim. Hey, that's what he does, man. So he, he don't never see a shooting slump, but we do. Hey, we say that shooting slump gonna make dudes break control. Just thinking they really missing, they miss time in the shot when you're not. The shooting slump just beating you down. And that's what it is, man. I can't get mad at it, man. Hey, but then you got Swante, like we said, we got the other time, we got this unlimited range. Trades up. Splash down, they shooting from half court, man. It is what it is, man. But all I wanna know is what do you guys think? And then last but not least, Miami pulling, pulling from deep. It is what it is, man. Like I said, we can't be, it's, it's, it's so one-sided. You can see that we wanted to be one-sided. We wanted to be straight offensive. We don't care about defense. We don't care about making bad decisions. I've made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. And, and we're still, I still should be able to hit shots. They even put a badge in the game called open looks. So that should have told you that we are now going to start quantifying the quality of the shot that you take and there will be some consequence for you not taking open shots, right? You, we should have thought that. We start quantifying it and we knew that they were gonna use it in some way. And as soon as we saw shooting slump, we should have known that was the case. So you can't take three, four, five contested shots and then take one open shot and then think it doesn't do something to your mental. You're gonna have to go to the rim, get you a layup, and, um, and you know, just see the ball go in the hole real quick, man, and you're gonna be fine. But we just gotta change our mentality. It's just like with the badges. The badges are no longer an indicator of what you can do. They are an indicator of what you do do. Yeah. Anyway, let me get out of here, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I'll see y'all next time on how to sell next. Let me know what y'all think about it. Uh, do we just need to use more uh, use more IQ or, or do they just need to take the shooting slump out of the game? And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Until next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Shop. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.